Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is gonna be a get ready with me. It is in collaboration with my good friend here on YouTube, Sarah Rose. We decided to do a get ready with me style video together where we feature the products that we currently have in a project pans. I have two separate project pans happening right now. The first one is the Partners in Cream, one that I'm doing in collaboration with a bunch of other YouTubers and Instagrammers, and we're only focusing on liquid and cream products. And then I do have a Pan Those Eyeshadows project where where I'm trying to hit pan on five eyeshadows at any given time. I already used one of the products in my project pan. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Good To Go Skin Protecting SPF 25 Moisturizer. I put this on this morning. Next for foundation, I'm gonna do a little bit of a mixture here. So I'm going to use another product from my Partners in Cream project pan. This is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter in the shade Halo Goodbye. I'm gonna put some of this on the back of my hand. I'm going to do one pump of this Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation. I'm in the shade Buff. And then I'm going to put a tiny, tiny little bit of this Studio Skin Foundation from Smashbox. This is a, in a much deeper shade. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of this just to help it better match my rest of my body. And I'm going to mix all three of those together unless I'm wearing like my perfect shade of that Smashbox 15 hour wear foundation, I'm most likely mixing multiple foundations to make it work for me, either make the texture better or make the shade match me better. The Jouer foundation is very high coverage and it's something you have to work with very quickly. So I mushed it around on my face a little bit and then I have a wet beauty blender and I'm going to further blend that in. So I'm really excited. I'm getting ready to go to a wine festival with my good friend Katie. She's one of my bridesmaids. We are going to a pierogi and wine festival in Pittsburgh, and I'm so excited. She always finds the coolest things for us to do together. And usually when we get together, there is wine involved, so it's fun to go to these kinds of events. Hopefully if I have enough time before she comes over, I can make those pretzel necklaces. Have you ever seen those? And it's funny because I'm filming this on Sunday morning, but just on Friday, I went to a wine tasting out in Lancaster. I did my first ever solo travel vlog where I stayed in a tiny house. And the reason that's funny is because even though I do like the occasional glass of wine every once in a while, I'm actually not that big of a drinker. I think I'm just kind of like a social drinker. If I'm with other people, I'll have a glass of wine. But even when I think, oh, I'm gonna get like tipsy tonight, I still never really get there. I usually stop after like two drinks. I just don't have the stomach for it. I'm gonna use this color corrector from NYX. It's the Dark Circle Concealer in the shade Fair. I know some people are reaching out to me saying that they can't find this anymore. I do think it's being discontinued, which is very, very unfortunate. I just purchased a Sensual Skin Enhancer from Kevin Aquan. I remember people used to talk about this all the time, but it's like a really, really high coverage concentrate. You can use it as foundation or concealer, and I'm gonna try and see if that would be a comparable dupe for this. It's not gonna be an exact dupe for the NYX, because the NYX has like a slightly peachy undertone and the Kevin Aquan one doesn't. But the Kevin Aquan one is such high coverage and you need so little of it, I'm told, to get really high pigment that I think it might still be a good color corrector that I can wear under concealers or even just on its own. And the tub is huge, so I'm hoping it lasts me forever. That's at least what I've heard. Now I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution concealer. I'm in the shade C7. I'm just gonna put a little dot on both under eyes. So if you guys have noticed, my content has been a little all over the place lately. Some weeks I'm uploading three videos instead of two. I put up some videos that aren't super consistent with the content that I normally pull out. Honestly, I just wanted to try some new things. I have a couple more ideas that I want to play with just to change it up a little bit. I do have quite a few series on my channel and I worry that with how often that I update you on those that my content is gonna come off as a little bit stale. <laughs> then I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. Just put a tiny, teensy little amount on my finger and that's enough for both eyelids. It's really hard not to put too much on your finger. I am gonna be doing a few things differently this year once this month is over, once February starts. Uh, I think unfortunately I'm going to, for the most part, only be putting out one video a week instead of two, at least for a while. And then if I do have a second video, it'll just be like a bonus video. The reason for that is because I just have a lot of other things that I need to prioritize in my life and it's all good things. I just need to 
focus more on other stuff and that involves spending less time filming and editing videos for YouTube, which it's taken me a really long time to get around to doing it because I, ha I don't want to do it. I still have enough ideas that I could do two videos a week. I'm using this Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Bubbly. This is also from my Partners in Cream Project Pan. I'm just going to push it into the sponge and then dot it right on top. I don't know if you can really even tell on camera that it's showing up at all, but in person it does add a little bit of a flush. I do mix it sometimes with the shade Pinched, which is more of like a peachy shade, and sometimes I'll mix it with that liquid highlighter from Wet n Wild, the Halo Goodbye one. I'll mix them together and that'll kind of tone down the purpliness and a little bit more of a shine. So some reasons why I need to tone down my schedule is number one, I have a wedding to plan, you're doing tours of venues, you're meeting up with potential vendors, you're researching who you want, you're budgeting, you're making a million little decisions. I'm not going to set my eyelids because that Anastasia Beverly Hills primer, if you use a specific amount, like just enough, it kind of sets on its own and it leaves a little bit of a powdery finish. And then I'm gonna put on some bronzer. This is from Pure and it's the Glow Together Bronzer. Also, James is not traveling as much this year. Last year, he was traveling so much for work. There were some months where he was traveling like two or three weeks out of the month, but now he's gonna be home a lot more. The projects that he's working on are shifting a little bit so that he doesn't have to travel so much. And I really wanna take advantage of that and spend more time with him. I'm using the Mary Luminizer highlighter. Luckily, a lot of our friends from college have move to the Pittsburgh area. So it's really exciting to have them nearby. I also want to spend more time with my parents. Usually we go over for dinner like once a week. It would be nice to go and like hang out with them on the weekends. My mom and I have a lot of shows that we like to watch together. So I just want to make more time to spend with them and just have my weekends be more open for that kind of stuff. I'm using this bronzer from Urban Decay. It's the Sun Kiss bronzer and I'm using that as a blush. Next I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan contour powder in the shade light and I'm just going to do a little light contour under my cheekbones, under my chin, and on my nose. Also another thing I would like to do, I'm sure a lot of people are saying it because it is around the time of New Year's resolutions, but I do want to spend more time on my health. I am in good health generally, which I'm so lucky to have, but it is something that I very heavily neglect. I don't lead a very active lifestyle and I don't really move around that much and I would like to do that more, kind of figure out what types of exercises work for me, what is a regimen that I'll stick to. I would like to learn how to cook more meals. I really only know how to make like five or six different meals. So I want to spend more time after work doing that kind of stuff. And it's difficult, you know, you have a full-time job, you have other family obligations, etc., other things you want to focus on. And as much as I love having a channel, I just can't do it all. I really wish that wasn't the case. I wish I could still stick to my original upload schedule and still get to do all the other things that I want to do. But it's just not realistic and I don't want to get burnout. I don't want to wear myself out or add any unnecessary stress. I'm going to use this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Auburn on my eyebrows. So I have this Maleficent Cream Highlighter and normally I use this on my collarbones but because I'm not wearing something that shows my collarbones today, I'm just going to dip my beauty sponge into it and pop it on top of my cheekbones. I'm going to be very blingy for this wine festival. I probably didn't need to put the Mary Luminizer underneath. This was probably more than enough. I don't really love using this on my cheekbones because it does have particles of glitter in it. I'm going to go back in with my blush brush and kind of add a little bit of that flush back in right here where the highlighter was kind of taking over. So a little rundown of the five eyeshadows I have in my quintet. The first one is this navy blue shade here from the e.l.f. Modern Metals palette. The next one is this raw sienna shade from my Modern Renaissance palette. I'm working on Noble Woman, which is this burgundy shade from the Queen of Hearts palette from Colored Rain. I'm working on this gray shade Slate All Day from the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. And I'm working on a single from Nabla. This is the shade Luna. So I don't feel like wearing a bright burgundy burgundy shade today. Maybe I'll focus on the navy blue instead. So I'm going to use that gray slate shade. I'm going to put that in the crease. It is a satin finish, uh, but I find that it's fine to use in the crease. I'm going to use a clean brush to blend that out. Then I'm going to use a Real Techniques Packer brush 
grab that navy blue shade and put that on the outer corners. So I do really like this color, but it blends away very quickly. Like you can pack on some decent pigment, but the second you try to blend it out, it goes away. So maybe I need to play around with using like stickier eyelid primers. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna put that down and then I'm gonna grab Luna, that single from Nabla. I'm gonna put that on the first half of the eyelid. And then I'm also gonna use it on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna slightly blend that navy blue out a little bit, but not too much because I don't really wanna move it at all because it does kind of blend away quickly if you're not careful. I think I'm just not used to working with blues at all, and so it's all very new for me. Then I'm gonna take this Morphe M508 brush, I'm gonna go back in with that navy, and I'm going to put it on the lower lash line. Just a really thin line, and then connect it to the outer corner on the top. I'm gonna go in with that clean fluffy brush and just try to very gently blend the outer part. And then I'm gonna go back in with that gray slate shade and add a little bit more to the crease. Kind of blending it upward a little bit so it's more noticeable whenever I'm just looking ahead. I'm gonna take that brush that I used with Luna, I'm just gonna add a little bit more to better blend that navy blue and that Luna shade together. And then do some detail work to make my eyes look a little bit more symmetrical. Add a little bit more of that navy blue because it keeps getting blended away. <laughs> now I'm going to put some of the Milani Kohl Kajal Liner on my upper inner rim. I'm going to bring my mirror a little bit closer for this. I'm going to take this angled liner brush from Essence and my ABH liner pot and I'm going to put a line on both of my top lash lines. Now I'm going to put on some mascara. This is the Tarte's Light Camera Lashes. This is not my favorite mascara. I'm using the NYX lip pencil in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. I'm using that to line my lips and to make my top lip a little bit more symmetrical. And then I'm going to use this nude lip color from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's in the shade Crush and this is also in my Partners in Cream project. And this is my look for today. I do think I'm going to have time to make those pretzel necklaces, so that's exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again to Sarah Rose for collabing with me. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.